Welcome to the Taurunga Half Safety Briefing video, presented by the Fulton Hogan Mount Festival of Multisport. Make sure you pay attention to this whole video, as it contains plenty of important information about your race. As you will know, we will be requiring all participants to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 and show their vaccination certificates before entering the designated event village area. This also applies to all spectators and support crew who will want to access this area. Please ensure that you have the appropriate passes downloaded or printed prior to arriving on site. This designated event village area includes the finish line, sponsor expo sites and registration area. This will be in place for both registration on Friday and throughout race day on Saturday. Registration will be held on Friday the 21st of January from 2.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. There will be a sponsor's expo alongside registration which gives you the opportunity to purchase your last-minute race gear and take advantage of great offers and specials from our sponsors. You must collect your own race pack, which includes your timing transponder and race numbers, and complete your registration during these times. If you do not collect your race pack during these times you will not be allowed to start the race. Saturday the 22nd of January 2022. Taurunga Half Race Day. 5.30 a.m. transition opens. Between 6.05 a.m. and 6.20 a.m. the swim course opens for elites to warm up. At 6.40 a.m. until 6.50 a.m., the swim course opens for warm-up for everyone. Meanwhile at 6.45 a.m., the team transition closes. We start the races with the elite male and female athletes at 6.30 a.m. and 6.32 a.m. Next is the under 45 males, please be aware that you will be required to self-seed for the start of the race. Then followed by the over 45 males, which is also self-seeded. At 7.17 a.m., the females will start their race. Followed finally, by the team entries at 7.22 a.m. At 8.30 a.m. the swim course closes, all participants must be out of the water at this time. Then at 12.30 a.m., the bike course closes. With the whole race finishing at 4 p.m. After all your hard work, join us for prize giving at 5 p.m. at Coronation Park. The start area will be on the beach near Pacific Avenue. All athletes are required to walk through the swim entry chute, over the timing mat and into the swim waiting area to ensure your timing chip is activated. If you do not walk over this mat you will not get a finisher's time. The swim consists of a 250-meter straight followed by a 1,700-meter lap and a 50-meter straight to the beach. Once the air horn goes you will head toward Salisbury Wharf, you will go between the two boys and turn right. You will then complete a full rectangular lap turning left at the last by to head into the beach. Exit the water and head up towards transition. Exit transition, progressing along the mall, veer right into Adams Avenue, right into Marine Parade and then onto Ocean Beach Road. Just before the end of Ocean Beach Road, turn right into Yale Street, then left onto Maranui Street which merges into Papamoa Beach Road. Continue along Papamoa Beach Road turning right onto Parton Road, then at the next large roundabout you will turn right onto Terra Road keep in the far left cycle lane, then left onto the Taurunga Eastern Link Expressway. You will then complete two laps on the expressway before exiting the course on the same on, off ramp as you entered and return to transition the same way as you arrived. Starting in Pilot Bay, run down the mall, turn right into Adams Avenue. Turn right again into Marine Parade. Continue to run along Marine Parade until you reach the turnaround point near Tay Street, be aware of runners in both directions. You will turn around at the first turnaround point marked out for Taurunga Half Athletes. Head back along Marine Parade, joining the boardwalk where you will be directed to continue around the base track in an anti-clockwise direction. Exit the base track and run down the mall to the turnaround point at Prince Avenue. Turn and stay to the left of the cones on the mall as you make your way back out for your second lap. See the full course map here, and online at mountfestival.kiwi. You'll also find our race manual which includes the full list of rules, as this event is fully sanctioned by Triathlon New Zealand. The swim course is patrolled by Surf Life Saving New Zealand. If you are in any difficulty or distress or see any other competitors in difficulty, please raise one hand above your head. Any competitor unable to finish the race after starting, must notify the event team immediately. Prize giving will be held at Coronation Park, 
next to the transition area on Salisbury Avenue commencing at 5 p.m. Come along, bring a picnic, celebrate our winners and you may pick up a spot prize. Thank you for watching this video, if you have any questions, please visit our website Q&A section or read the race manuals. A massive thank you to all of our sponsors and partners who with their support, made this event possible.